Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and as always if you want to continue supporting the series and these videos then do be sure to drop a like rating and consider joining us by either subscribing or by hitting the join button. Now, today my friends, today we are finishing the skyscrapers area. Now, so this is the last episode. I have not been idle, okay? I've not been idle by any stretch of the imagination. I have been working on the skyscrapers area to the point where I actually have the final pink skyscraper up and running. So, look at this beautiful area behind us, guys. I mean, come on. This is looking kind of cool, isn't it, huh? Tower Bay, Azuma and I, we've been proper going at it lately with our towers. And i got to say, it is looking absolutely freaking fantastic. I mean, come on. Look at it. Look at the towers. Look at the colors. We've got the dark side with Darth Vader. Uh, well, yeah, I feel like Azuma should uh, change his skin to Darth Vader to suit the, uh, you know, the dark side. And then I should change my skin to some sort of Jedi, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Star Wars references! <laughs> I'm so dumb. Anyways, guys, check it out. The pink skyscraper is now up and done. And everything's looking good, guys. All eight skyscrapers are now up and ready to be built in. What we're going to build in each one, I've got absolutely no idea. Now, here's what I want you guys to do in the comments area down below. We, of course, have this nice little beach resort area in the red tower there. And that is, of course, from the Hermitcraft recap. When they recap tagged us, saying there's cows on the roof, I decided to actually do it. So, we have seven other towers. I need you guys to head down to the comments area. I need to get you to have your creative caps on and come up with some sort of idea as to what to put in each of the seven remaining skyscraper tower tops. <laughs> I'll be very, very interested to see what you guys have to say because, uh, yeah, I, I, I wanted to put some weird and wonderful and wacky stuff up there because why the heck not, basically? So here we go, my friends. Like I say, Pink Tower is done and it's looking good. We've got the entryways done. I've done this one uh, properly and what we're going to start off by doing is replicating this interior in the green tower. Now, I've already gone ahead and done the ceiling just on the inside side here uh yeah we've got like gaps all over the place and uh, you know all the stuff we can do pretty simply so we've got ourselves the stairs i bought some uh, scaffolding from the mall so this should be a fairly simple procedure i would hope so yeah guys let's go ahead and begin by plugging up the holes all right guys and there we go the interior is looking a lot better and what that now means is this tower is officially done which means we get to do one of the most satisfying things in minecraft which is breaking scaffolding <laughs> oh i do love doing that <laughs> It's such a cool thing to watch, and then it just rains down items. Hey, man, I appreciate you there, broski. Right, so, ladies and gentlemen, what that now means is all of the towers are officially done. And I am very, very happy to say that because, oh my gosh, this has been a long, long project. But now that we have it done, we could start working on the surroundings. And that's what we're going to do in today's episode. We're going to work on this interior central section. We're going to put a creeper face mountain in the centerpiece here. And then we are going to replace the grass with slabs or maybe even quartz. And then we're going to make ourselves some nice custom modern looking trees. And basically, guys, when it comes down to it, this place is going to look fan freaking tastic. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so let's start off by uh, clearing out all of the different workstations and various things. Uh, yeah, this is this is starting to become a problem here, guys. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff here. There's so much stuff. Oh my goodness me. Okay, right. So yeah, let's clear all of the stuff and then we can make a start. Alrighty, guys, and here we go. We're gonna make a bit of a start here. Now, there's one thing I've come to realize straight off the rip, actually, and that is, what if I was to go ahead? and you smooth quartz sort of in between, right? And then we go ahead and use the sort of squared quartz for the outside bit as a little bit of a border. Ah, uh, I think that could work pretty well. Uh, so if we just pop back in here real quick, I've gone ahead, I've consolidated all of the various blocks we have. So can I make this smooth? Ah, oh, no. I think we actually have to smelt all of this if we're wanting smooth. Ah, oh, dang, blast it. Well, uh-huh. Uh, I don't think there's any, like, public super smelters to use either. 
Oh man! All right, well, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Get some coal and smelt these bad boys out, because I imagine that it could look very, very nice if we have ourselves the smooth quartz on the inside of it, right? So, yeah, for now, though, I've made a little bit of progress. We've got some, uh, you know, we've got some quartz going on in here. We're gonna put down some sea lanterns inside this place, just so uh, this place is nicely lit up. Uh, there we go. And then, of course, we need to make ourselves the creeper uh, pixel art fountain thingy feature of awesomeness itself as well so yeah it, I mean, for the most part it's just a case of just grinding materials really so uh, let's go and do that oh, there's the red concrete so i'll tell you what let's go and do the creeper face on camera since it's you know for the most part nice and simple uh, anyone can do a creeper face it's kind of awesome so uh, let's go over to oh geez hey that's not cool boo boo hey iron golems what why you know why you know protect me huh why you know protect me? I mean, I'm just as important as the freaking golems. I mean, the villagers even, not the golems. The golems are the people who are supposed to be protecting me and them. So, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, get rid of that. And then boom, ba boom. Uh, boom, boom, ba boom. And then to the side is going to be the eyes. And this should be super simple for the most part. So let's go over this side. Uh, do the exact same. Okay. And bring it over a little bit. And yeah. Nice little creeper face. All right. So all we got to do is put some water in now. That should be pretty simple, right? <laughs> That's a really strange looking creeper face though. What if I was to uh, do something like that? Uh, I don't know. It looks like a very strange creeper face to me. Huh. Let me... Uh, mm, okay. Ah, I see what I've done. I need to, like, raise it up a block or something, don't I? Ah, dang blast it. All right, well, let me just uh, jig around with this for a little bit. And uh, <laughs> I just realized that looks like a mumbo face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be a creeper, not a mumbo. I'm not mumbo. I'm a pythonator. Alright folks, so we're just breaking a bunch of coal that I just bought from iJevin's ore shop so we can actually get the smooth quartz going in the furnaces. Uh, so yeah, we've made a little bit of progress since the last cut, especially in terms of the little central area there. You can see the creeper face is now looking pretty good. It's on like a little iron bar stilt kind of stand type thing and we've got the water in which is very very nice now of course once we go ahead and replace all of the grass around here with the quartz and smooth quartz i think this place is going to be looking very very good and it will be ripe for having custom trees built upon it now the custom trees in question are going to be extremely very simple we're going to use like birch fences and then leaves and then just have them be sort of nice and tall surrounding this place at uh, you know equal intervals so yeah anyways uh, so we have ourselves all of the coal all we need to do is make it into coal blocks and get on with it and Boof. There we go. 31. Okay, that's a good amount. Coolio. Alright, so yeah, here we go, my friends. Got the sea lanterns. Uh, we've got ourselves some little uh, cauldron custom tree type things. Uh, we've got ourselves these. These are going to have flower pots on top of them, by the way. I mean, you know, we've got to keep the meme alive. You know what I'm saying? we got to keep it alive. I mean, we are kind of known for our flower pots, are we not? So, yeah. I mean, I don't see a reason why we should go against the grain. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, guys. It's looking pretty good, though, isn't it? It's a pretty good start, huh? This place is really starting to come together i think once we have the tunnel going uh, i think i'm going to make this into like a, a a tunnel like a high up tunnel this uh hrn rail here i think that'll look best although i don't know i mean i kind of want to be able to just look up and see the sky i'm not so sure i'm not sure why i want to do this i don't know i could make the rails go to the side buildings instead right that could be a cool idea actually huh have the rails go in, like, have a little bridge coming out the sides and then just have them go all the way around the sides, right? Then the center here will be nice and open. Ah, that's a cool idea, actually. Hmm, I might steal that idea and use it as my own, despite it being my own. Yes, that makes a lot of sense, Python. Right, back to work. Well, ladies and gents, I've said it before, I'll say it again. They need to do something about the excessive iron golem spawning. I think I mentioned it before in one of my survival episodes. They need to put like a higher cap on the amount of iron golems that are allowed to spawn in a single village and scale it up with the amount of villagers. But 
keep the mechanic in whereby if they go a certain amount of distance away from the village, then they will just continually spawn them. So current iron farm designs aren't broken. So yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, dispatch of these guys real quick. Because they're in the way of my building, darn it! Well, anyways, in the meantime, guys, I can uh, show you guys that uh, this is actually working really freaking well. Look at this, man! It's looking really nice, isn't it? We've got the uh, we've got the regular quartz slabs around the outside as like a rim, and then we've got the smooth quartz on the inside here, looking very, very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, all right. Well, like I say, we've got to say goodbye to these golems, the the mass golem exodus or murdering of 2019 of. Craft season six. Uh huh. Uh, why are you not dead? Why are you running? Go on. Good, do goodbye, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodbye. There you go. Thank you very much. I appreciate your uh, services, but they are not required anymore, sir. Come on. And you lot. Go on. Get out of here. And ladies and gentlemen, just a little bit more grass to replace and we're just about there with the floor. So we've got the regular quartz on the outside here, bordering the inside, which of course... Oh really, we have to... We're literally one block off. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> what is that, man? That is unbelievable. All right, well, uh, let's go and make some more. Oop, there we go. I mean, we don't need that much. We literally just need one. Uh, but uh, yeah, whatever the case may be, guys, check it out. Everything is looking good. Okay, guys, so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, rail off these areas. So this place is nicely secluded as like a central municipal district for Python Island of Epicness. Uh, yeah, that's a great name there, Python Island of epicness i like it i like it unless you guys could come up with a better name huh <laughs> ah so many things to ask of you in the comments area things to put on top of the towers uh, an actual name for this place itself i don't know man i freaking don't know all right so make a little bit of a start shall we all we're going to do is very simple stuff to be honest with you so let's go and grab ourselves some quartz slabs here and i think we'll go ahead and put in some sea lanterns with maybe flower pots on them or something like that i mean again we're trying to keep the meme alive gotta keep it going you know what i'm saying <laughs> Oh dear. All right, guys, let's go ahead and keep this thing going, huh? And ladies and gents, we've got some flower pots going. So let's go ahead and fill them all up. And there we go. So we've got like an alternation of oxide daisies and white tulips to go with the surrounding area. And guys, we've got all of the walls up as well. So this place is nicely concealed away. Oh, there should be absolutely nobody able to be able to able to be able to there should be able to be no one spawning in this place there should be no mob spawning here basically there you go i got there in the finish i swear that i can speak english sometimes guys right so yeah we come in here do, 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 do. look at this amazing area right so this is definitely in need of some custom trees oh yes it is custom trees and also lighting so uh let's go ahead and grab for ourselves some do we want birch or do we want dark oak I almost feel like dark oak would go pretty well in here as the stalk of the tree. Do we even have any dark oh, we've got spruce? I don't think we've got any dark oak though. Hmm. I don't know. What what is wrong with you? <laughs> the iron golems are going a bit nuts in here. Uh oh, nether brick fences. That's an interesting choice. Huh. Nah, nah. Do you know what? We'll go for spruce. We'll give spruce a go since we've got some here. And basically all I want to do is make some very, very basic custom trees, okay? So, let's go around here. And let's say that this is going to be, or maybe here. Yeah, let's do it here, okay? So, we get on top here. Let's do maybe four blocks. And then uh, maybe do a little bit of this around the edge here. Maybe make that two blocks. And then maybe something like that. Something nice and simple, right? What do you guys think of that? Hmm? What do you think? I mean, it's a very, very basic custom tree. In fact, to be honest with you, I'm kind of tempted to bring it down a block here as well. Yeah, I think bringing it down a block actually made it work a little bit better in my opinion. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and replicate this custom tree design around the entire load here. So two, three, four. Then we need to go down two blocks rather like this. Do the same around the place. There we go. Nice and easy. I mean, you know, in terms of custom trees, I think modern ones are by far the easiest to do. So yeah, there we go. Let's have a look at it now. Let's have a look at it from the other side as well, just so we get a little bit of an idea. 
Yeah! Oh, oh, we got something good going on here, guys! We got something very good going on! Alright, let's continue on, shall we? Alright, guys, so we're on the home stretch. Now, all I'm doing now is putting in some more custom trees, some very, very small ones here and there, uh, mostly to act as light sources, to be honest with you guys. So, uh, we've got the sea lanterns, fence, and then two leaves, and then basically the same. Sea lantern, fence, two leaves. Again, that's probably going to be a remix made out of that, but whatever the case, it doesn't matter. So, here we go, guys. We have it done. Let's just make sure the light levels are all good. Got to make sure they're all above seven. So, absolutely zero mobs can spawn in here, right? Uh-huh. Wow. Guys, I can't believe it. At long last, 52 episodes into season six. We started this entire project, what, episode 20-something? I think it was episode 20 itself, actually, because, yeah, uh, the first thing we did is we worked on the coastal modern area, right? Obviously, the next thing we're going to do after the skyscrapers area is we're going to start expanding this area here to incorporate more mini modern houses, get all these pathways done as well, uh, make a bridge going over to Azuma's place, uh, that little area right there, that is going to be a bridge. Uh, who's going to take on that job? I've got no idea at this particular moment, but uh, it doesn't matter because, guys, look at this. I mean, come on, man. If this doesn't deserve a like rating, I don't know what is wrong with you guys. We have been working on this for so freaking long. And to say that it's finally done is really quite something. It really, really is. So, yeah. Right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Just for one final thing, I want to actually get rid of this uh, of this bridge type thing. I think that's the final thing I want to do. The reason being is because I want to see how much better it looks, if at all. Uh, because if it looks a lot better, then we're going to go with the alternate solution, which of course was, as I said before, uh, making the rails go around the side buildings here and having bridges above that instead. Because, like I said, I kind of wouldn't mind being able to see the sky and just being able to see nothing but skyscrapers when I look up, right? So if I get rid of this, rather like so, uh-huh, it should be fairly simple. There we go. Uh, now we've just got a whole bunch of blocks all over the place, littering it, making it look untidy, man. This isn't cool. I gotta pick them all up. I gotta pick them all up. All blocks are sacred. They are, guys, especially during this project. Oh my goodness me. The amount of quartz I've gone through is truly, like, inhumane. No single person should ever have to go through this, man. You shouldn't have to use this much quartz in a project. It's just disgusting. It's a disgusting amount of quartz. It truly is. But, whatever the case, let's have a look up. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is just much better, isn't it? By every stretch of the imagination, just being able to see up to the sky there is so much better. It really, really is. And look at that, guys! We're surrounded by skyscrapers, that rainbow skyscrapers, blue, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, and back to blue. Oh, oh I'm so happy. I don't think you guys kind- I, I, I don't think you understand just how chuffed to bits I am with the fact that we finally got this thing done. Huh? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, so, ladies and gentlemen, I think on that note, we are saying sayonara, we are saying goodbye, we are saying finito to the Skyscrapers Project. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, then please do be sure to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. It helps out myself, the channel, and the video very, very much. It really, really does. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to head off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.